Welcome everybody. We are going to do a Mercury retrograde reading. The retrograde starts on the 4th or the 5th, depending on um, whatever. <laughs> so if you're wondering when it starts, let's see uh, what is going on for you Pisces and Pisces. Uh, Pisces, you have the two of wands, the king of swords and the four of wands. Uh, you have this Gaia card. It says, trust the universe has a better plan than you do. Uh, and it also says, spend time in nature to be healed, soothed, and regroup, which is definitely true for you, Pisces. Uh, I definitely feel there is something better coming in for you. Uh, you're very similar to Capricorn, uh, just astrologically right now. So I would, uh, and again, if you have Capricorn in your chart, Pisces, you might want to go watch that reading. I think that your two energies are kind of matching up very nicely at this time. Uh, but what I would say here is I feel like there is something better coming in, in for you you have the two of wands. Uh, again, the story of the two of wands is that he thinks he has accomplished everything uh, that he can accomplish in his life, but there's so much more for him to accomplish. He's looking out here at the world in front of him. He's not looking at the world that is in his, his hands. So I think that there is like a lot more for you to be doing in your life. And it's like, you just need to let it out with the King of Swords. The King of Swords is a card of, again, knowledge and wisdom. He has a lot of knowledge and wisdom, but he needs to maybe share it with the world. You know, a lot of people consider him to be like cold or uh, closed off or something along those lines. And so I, I'm not saying that you're like, like cold or closed off or anything, but I definitely feel it would be a good time for you to kind of like open up to uh, being more open, more social. I think I said the same thing to Cancer as well. So it could be a little bit of a water sign thing going on at this time where maybe water signs in general. Uh, and if you have a lot of water in your chart, I would definitely say this is true for you. Um, even if you're not a Pisces, I would open up and maybe get be more social. So I think that could be very beneficial for you as well. Uh, I also feel that... Um, you know, at this time, Pisces, I feel a lot of people could be coming to you as like a guide. Uh, so people might be looking for help or information or guidance. And uh, normally I would tell people don't, uh, Pisces, not to help people because Pisces, it helps people too much, right? Uh, but in this case, uh, I do think it would be very kind of beneficial and maybe even could increase your abundance or just help you out in general uh, by helping other people. So I do think uh, I get something about you being like a mentor to someone or helping guide someone. And I think it would really pay off big time. Uh, you have this four of wands and the four of wands, of course, can represent marriage. So if you want to get married, sure. Uh, maybe you're marrying like the old man from down the street or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but the four wands, you know, could represent love. I, I feel like if there's love coming in for you, it could be like a new person here, uh, Pisces. And the four of wands is a card of, of freedom as well. So I think a lot of you are kind of like completing something because the four of wands is also a card of completion. Uh, really, the four of wands comes up when, when we are going to uh, complete like a project or a certain stage of our life and we're being set free by going to the next stage. And so I feel for a lot of you, that's what this could be saying, that you are... Um, kind of going to that next stage in your life and uh, you're kind of being set free. I also, 1111, I never say that on the four wands, but it's popping into my head. So I got to say it, uh, 1111 could be a very, that could be like a sign or a symbol for you, Pisces. Uh, you have the nine of wands, clar clarifying that two of wands, Pisces. So the nine of wands is like the wounded warrior. And maybe this is why you're holding yourself back from the world on the two of wands is you have wounds or, um, you know, spiritual wounds or heart wounds or whatever you want to call it. And I feel like the nine of wands is saying, actually, during this Mercury retrograde, it would be a great time for you to eat, go inside, you know, Mercury retrograde, great time for introspection or, you know, um, kind of like self development work, things like that. So I think it would be a great time to heal those things so that you can uh, open up to something new. And I feel for a lot of you, this is saying, um, you know, it'd be a great time for healing, but also trying again. Nine of Wands says, don't give up. Uh, you have the Nine of Cups. Yes, Nine of Cups is a card of bathing in the energy of what you desire. So Nine of Cups is a card of wishes and wish fulfillment. Uh, but really, the true meaning of the Nine of Cups is to be the thing that you want to be. So it doesn't say fake it till you make it. It says, which I don't like. I do not like fake it till you make it. I think we can all just step into the energy of what we want and we can become it. And so the Nine of Cups says, if there's something you want, 
then just be it. You know, if you want love, you have to be in love. So go be in love with yourself. Go be in love with your dog or your cat or nature, like that card says. If you want money, go be around money, right? Go pick up pennies in the parking lot. And people think I'm kidding, but it's like when you do that, you're, you're finding abundance all over the place and you're telling the universe, I'll do what it takes for abundance. And then before you know it, you'll probably have abundance. So uh, Nine of Cups says do that. Also, Nine of Cups also says that he has these cups behind him there is a theory that those that he is deciding who to give those cups to. So again, it is, like I said, I think you could be giving to an important person or like mentoring someone this month. But um, I would also say, you know, be careful of who you give to. Make sure you're giving to people who also, you know, return the favor. Uh, with the four of wands, yes, yeah, spicy, spicy Pisces. Uh, I feel like there could be a spicy new connection coming in for some of you. Uh, Ace of Wands is out with the old and with the new. Four of Wands is also kind of like out with the old and with the new. You have to complete one thing, and then you have to start something else. So I feel for a lot of you, um, you know, you could be starting a new project or a new business or something. And the Ace of Wands says, follow your desire. So your desires are leading you uh, with the Four of Wands. So there you go. Thank you, Pisces. Uh, we'll do a collective as well. So um, collective, uh, let's see what we get for you, collective people. Uh, let's see, uh, collective. So for the collective, we have the uh, Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. Uh, for the collective, we have this workaholic card. It says, having a strong work ethic and giving it 110% all of the time. It says, hard work beats talent when uh, talent doesn't work hard. Uh, I actually feel like everybody in the collective is going to be feeling very motivated. So again, it could be one of those retrogrades where uh, people really feel more uh, motivated, more energetic, not the other way around. Uh, I would say that I do think it's a good time uh, to practice taking a rest or getting rest or taking a break. We have Mars going retrograde at the end of the year, pretty much in the same area of the sky in Leo. This Mercury retrogrades in Leo. And, um, you know, also we'll have Mars going retrograde in Leo at the end of the year. And so I kind of feel it's like a little bit of practice for when we get there. Uh, Leo is kind of like our life force, our vitality. And so, I, you know, when Mars goes retrograde there, you're going to want to have energy saved up. So if you feel like working, work. If you feel like resting and sleeping, rest and sleep, like practice collecting your energy so that when we get to the end of the year, you have more than enough energy to get through the end of the year. Uh, we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. Uh, Queen of Pentacles is a card of resourcefulness. I think that it's a good idea for everyone to practice resourcefulness at this time. We are literally in a time of resourcefulness. Why do you think all this weird stuff is happening with money and all that other stuff? So Queen of Pentacles doesn't say don't spend money. She just says, you know, be resourceful. If you can do something for cheaper or, you know, if you can get things on sale or if you can find a better way to make money or any of that, you know, I w that's what I would be looking for uh, and that's what I would be studying with the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, Collective has the Seven of Cups as well. Uh, big dreams at this time. We have Neptune and Pisces. We also have Saturn and Pisces. So Neptune and Pisces is your crazy ass idea. Saturn and Pisces says, get your ass moving. And if you actually start working on that crazy idea, then you might just create whatever it is. So I think we are in a time of big dreams. Neptune's going retrograde as well. Uh, well, it is, and Saturn. And so, you know, again, I think that now is the perfect time with Neptune going retrograde to kind of like take the, that crazy idea and ground it in reality. When you think about it, when it's moving forward, uh, you know, being on Neptune would be like being under 100 hurricanes going 10,000 miles an hour uh, with, you know, high seas, waves, you know, uh, 200 feet tall, you know, the craziest thing you could possibly imagine, right? So now that Neptune is going retrograde, it's kind of like calming down. And now is the time where we could manifest our wildest dreams if we put the work in. So I would make sure to put the work in with that Seven of Cups. Uh, you have the Eight of Wands Collective. And let me just do this real quick. Uh, the Eight of Wands is quick success or a quick conclusion. The Eight of Wands is also good news. But also remember what I said earlier about, about the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is like the slip and slide of life. We have to, and I think this is what everybody should be doing until like 2033. So, you know, almost the next 10 years, I think we all need to be paying very close attention to what causes friction and we need to pay very close att att attention to what removes friction from our life and speeds things up. As long as we double down on those things that speed things up or make things more efficient, we will be like 30 times more successful than we normally would be. So make sure you're paying attention. 
Uh, with the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Hierophant. Yeah, love love is changing. So I think that for and those of you that want love or marriage, love is changing. I also feel that this could be the opportunity for blessings. He is blessing these two people in front of him here. So I really do feel that there could be like a really solid opportunity to receive some blessings in your life. Uh, with the Seven of Cups, you have the Two of Cups. Um, yeah, I think people need to like stop dreaming about relationships at this time as well. <laughs> uh, so Neptune going retrograde is great uh, because... It's like part of my problem uh, with Neptune, especially in Pisces, is it's like the fantasy. It's just uh, mental masturbation, basically. It's like the fantasy feels better than the reality, or actually you don't know. Because um, what happens with uh, Neptune and Pisces with relationships is like we get into a relationship, but maybe we just are like talking to the person, right? Or maybe we are just um, texting the person. And we develop this fantasy around the connection. Uh, so the fantasy, we kind of don't want to lose the fantasy. So then we never make it a reality. And, uh, you know, right now, with Neptune going retrograde, it's time to, you know, make that fantasy a reality. This could be love. Uh, but the Two of Cups could also just be something that you will love in your life. It could, you know, Two of Cups can be you, you and your higher self. And your higher self is trying to communicate with you, which showed up like 20 times today in all the readings, right? So uh, clearly it's a very spiritual time. And Mercury retrograde can be very spiritual. So I think we have to, you know, if our higher self is telling us to do something, we need to like manifest whatever that is uh, down on earth. Uh, with the Eight of Wands, you also have the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles says get to work. Eight of Pentacles is, a, a, you know, what's more important than that though, what, you know what I really want to say here, collective, is that Eight of Pentacles is about looking at your work. It's about seeing how much work you have already done. It's about looking at what you have already accomplished and putting that into perspective. Sometimes I think we need to back up and, and look at everything that we've accomplished because then it makes the next thing we're about to do 20 times easier. Because we're, we're if you're too focused on work, you're not seeing that what you're about to do could be easier, you know? And I feel like this is saying, it's like you already have all this knowledge and wisdom which came up a lot during these readings and now by putting things into work or putting things into practice you'll be able to accomplish something you know the next thing much easier or faster or whatever so there you go so uh thank you and definitely enjoy the rest of your weekend